Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to update your Nintendo Switch to 20.0.1. So over here on my Switch right here, we're going to go see that I am currently on, we're going to go onto system, on Atmosphere version 19.0.0, and no, Atmosphere version 1.9, and Switch version is 19.0.0, so this is a bit out of date. So we're going to update this to the latest version and i'll be showing you guys what to do fully so what you want to do first is you want to go and make sure that the themes are removed so we're going to go into album over here and this is going to open up our homebrew menu so we're going to wait for this to open so we're going to go over here and what you want to go is on nx themes installer and you just want to remove the theme from there make sure you have no theme in there the next thing that you want to have is you want to make sure you have let me look for the file i'm going to go and we're going to make sure that we have daybreak Daybreak is going to be the thing that is going to allow us to install the new firmware. So we're going to go over here and go on Daybreak. And as you can see, this is what we use to basically get the firmware version. So what you want to do is also you want to have a way to put your switch backups. You might need an RCM jig for this. And you're going to need a way to transfer SDs because we do need to fully power off the switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the power button. We're going to wait. Power options. And we're going to go and turn off. Then what you want to do is we're going to wait for it to turn off, give it a second, open this up, and take the SD card out, and that's it. Plug this into your computer, and a lot of stuff is on the computer, so then I'll show you what to do from there. So here we are on the PC, so we're going to do a few things over here. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to go to all these websites. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to want to go to Sig Patches. So Sig Patches is down, so this is a Sig Patch alternative. What we're going to do here is we're going to go onto the link and all the links will be in the description down below so we're going to go here and what we're going to do is we're going to go into sig patches and then you want to scroll down and you want to download the latest release which is going to be this sturdy one right here so we're going to click this link then we're going to go onto hikate for hikate what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to download this zip file right here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go on atmosphere we're going to download fusey dump in and we're going to download atmosphere right here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Mission Control. When we're on Mission Control, what we're going to do over here is we're going to just download this one right here. Then we're going to go and switch firmwares. Over here, what we're going to do is we're going to just click this download link and we're going to get a mega and we're going to download this here. Then we have Tegra RCM GUI. So I think we did this one. But we did not. So we have Tegra RCM GUI. This is to reboot the switch if you take your SD card out. So we're going to download the portable version right here. Once you have it all downloaded, you're going to have it in its own files or its own folders. So you want to extract it all into its own folders. So let's start off with Fusey Dolphin. We're going to go here, drop it in here, into the root, and press replace. Then also make sure you delete the old firmware file right here. So we're going to delete this folder. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go onto Switch. Or not Switch, we're going to go onto Bootloader. And then we're going to see payloads and then we're going to click this and we're going to delete fusey.bin we're going to drop fusey.bin into here then we're going to open up Hikate and we're just going to do this just to be safe so we're going to delete this Hikate and drag this one in here just to be safe I know it's going to do it again but I always do it just in case we're going to go back onto the root of the SC card so now we're going to finish fusey then we're going to go on to mission control so we're going to go to mission control copy these two folders, put it here, and press replace. After doing mission control, we're going to go into Hikate, copy these two, root, place, done. Then we're going to go onto atmosphere, copy all of these, drag and drop, replace, and then we're going to go onto this folder right here, copy all of this, drop it and replace and then drag open firmware and make sure it's like this then drag firmware 20 from one to the root and then wait for this to finish downloading and then open up Tegra RCM go here and then click this folder and then go into downloads and we're going to click Hikate, and we're going to choose this Hikate file. Then, what you want to do is plug in your USB C to your computer. So, we're going to do that real quick. So, 
So once your thing is finished downloading here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this and we're gonna press eject. And once we see that's fully ejected, we're gonna take the SD card and we're gonna plug it back into our switch right now. So we'll plug our switch back in, or the SD card back into our switch. We're gonna power on our switch real quick. And then we're gonna plug in the USB-C. second and then we're gonna see it says RCM okay then we're gonna press inject payload and now we're gonna go on the switch and I'll show you what to do from there so here we are back with the switch we're gonna go into payloads and we're gonna click fusey dot bin we're gonna wait and if you remove the theme everything should boot up just fine so you basically updated the whole custom firmware except the main firmware. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish downloading or loading up. So we'll give it a second. And what we're doing is we're gonna basically be going on Daybreak and updating it through Daybreak. So now that it's here, we are gonna go into Album. Then we're gonna go onto Daybreak. And we're going to press install and we're going to look for firmware select and it's going to look at it so we'll take a minute and just validating it and once everything's good we're going to go and continue we're going to go and preserve settings and install fat32 plus expat and we're going to press continue so now everything is going to start updating so we'll give this a little bit so we'll take a minute or two to update but once it's done updating i'll come back and show you what to do from there so now we finished downloading everything on the Switch. Now you may run into a few errors, which is the thing I'm gonna cover right now. So the atmosphere we downloaded is a pre-release. If you try downgrading to an old release, it may not work. So make sure that you're sticking with a pre-release on it. Another thing that you're gonna probably see, you might get some errors. I didn't get any errors when I was doing this, but if you get any errors, what you wanna do is you wanna open up the atmosphere folder and go into contents and delete all the folders in there those folders are your error codes and what you want to do is you just want to plug in your sd card again and drag and drop all the files all over again there's a chance something did not get sent in there correctly so you just want to do that properly now as you can see everything's over here so now we got new menu items we've got news game share controllers virtual game carts so we have a lot of new stuff over here so we go on system settings and as you can see if we go on to system we're on atmosphere 1.9.0 and current version 20.0.1 so that's something that's pretty cool that we're on the new version of and i'll be making a video on how to i guess repair tinfoil if it doesn't work for you guys but thanks for watching and i hope this video helped goodbye